Today we got a short vid with a Mitsubishi Lancer convert to Evo. Um, we was having some problems with the fuel pump. With the fuel pump connector on the, on the top of the tank. Um, the connector was overheating. We had recently installed a Wobble 450. This seems to be a fairly high amperage draw pump. So it seemed to be melting the top of the connector after a little while. Um, this may be the second or third time that I melt the connector on the top of the pump. So what I'm doing today is just basically taking the pump out the tank and um, bypassing the butt head connector on the tank and on the hanger, sorry, and um, installing the one I ordered from overseas. So what I'll be doing then is running the wires through this rather than going through the connectors on the top of the um, the original butt head on the, on the pump hanger and running the connectors through this then. So basically just running the wires from the fuel pump itself, hardware straight up through the butt head, through the top of the hanger and what it does is when it goes through this then, this piece here at the top is actually a rubberish rubberized uh, material so as the wire goes through this and you tighten this down on the top of the tank then the hole in there automatically gets smaller as it's further you send it down and that will stop any gas or fumes or anything from coming up through the butt head so pretty straightforward pretty simple just drill a hole in the top of the hanger screw this in two teflon washers tighten it run your wires from the fuel pump up through the butt head to the relay and we just put it back on then the cap and take it on the cap then and that should seal off the top of it all together. So what you're about to do is just take off the cover and take the hang out the tank so we can see what we have to do to get the butt head and stuck. So they did stand. Oh. There's a second connector that this thing went through. Two wires at the top of the fuel pump wires. And the amperage draw is so high on the pump that they start to burn the connection between there and the butt head that comes out of the fuel pump. Actually, you just see if you get focus. The back of the connector, the butt head there starts to melt also. So what we'll do is look for some very gas on the pump, on the hanger sorry, and drill a hole and see if we get the two wires for the fuel pump come out of there separate then and wire it directly to the fuel pump wires. Whatever goes on do from here, rather than going to the butt head, 
and these two wires here so I would run them you see we already got space if this goes on like that space will probably be over here so basically it will run right above the top of the pump actually that's pretty good right above the top of the pump so we will just remove the pump remove the wires and drill the hole right in the center of this bracket hopefully you ain't got no lot of rivets there or anything So I'm just here searching around to find out where exactly I'm going to put this. Um, the problem is there isn't much space on the unit hanger at all. Um, if I put it directly over the pump, the problem is the three rivets, the three tack wells that holds the pump hanger to the outside of the housing those three rivets would be automatically drilled out when they drill the holes so basically that is not practical either um, my best bet may be slightly to the right what I may have to do is cut off one of the ends of the hangers so that I could put it to the right of the hanger there then and it should be possible here. Uh, yeah, so what we'll do is just cut off this ear off of the hanger. Clean up the weld end there. And cut a piece of this off. And actually maybe maybe have to cut at least about a good inch of it. An inch off of it. And we we'll get a little distance and clearance and drill the hole right there then. This is the tie. You can see, actually, you see the tie well right there. So you don't want to cut into the other one right there. So basically, you want to come as far as possible along this edge. So we're there cleaned up, what we'll do is just try to get the hole now drilled, mark it exactly where you want it, and see if we can get the hole drilled as neat as possible. So that's the clean up hole on both sides, this thing are going in as snug as I could get it. Actually, I think we gotta get a little screw to get it in right to the bottom, but Teflon washer will help to cut some space between there. So let me see, put on the washer, put on that, nice. Other washer, and then it's not on the end. Perfect fit, and I got clearance here. I got clearance on the inside. So just a tightening washer then. 
set back at the pump and run your wires through the top then. actually come directly out the butt head before even having to join the terminals as yet and make it pretty easy for me all right so that's the complete process and finished product of the mod that I've done and you can see everything is cleared the wire comes straight out the pump, straight through the butt head, um, and if you do is just clear rid that part of the hosing and the rivet to give the butt head some room. Yeah, so basically everything nice and neat, and the top is nice and neat, got good clearance all around all the lines, etc. Teflon washers, clean off the material around the pump so you can get a nice clean flush. Um, surface to seal the gas and we'll just put a couple more extra turns on the top here with a spanner or something but the, the line here is actually pretty tight so yeah so hopefully it should seal good before any problems
first one it was warm, but now the temperature up a little hotter. Cars want to get breaking up. 